Hi everyone, Michael from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. Further to our conversation earlier on this week about the US Fed um, pumping funds into the overnight and short-term money market. Um, according to Reuters, they've been at it again uh, on Tuesday night uh, for the overnight auction. They, um, they pumped in another $105 billion into the system because the banks weren't doing it. Now, let's be honest, $105 billion to the US Fed Reserve is a drop in the bucket, but it does highlight a couple of things. One is that um, they're doing a quantitative easing without calling it a quantitative easing. Um, they are pushing their cash out into the system um, and trying not to make a big fuss of it, but doing it nonetheless. It also shows that there's cracks appearing in the system, as we talked about earlier on this week. But it, on top of that, it shows that they've had to try and get control of the monetary system again. Um, and it looks like they've got control of it. We're not seeing the spikes of 10% um, interest rates again. They seem to be uh, hovering around the 2%. And in fact, if anything, we've seen them push down a little bit because the banks have seen that the, the Fed's willing to step in. So they're willing to drive that price down a little bit further. Um, so we've actually seen interest rates of 1.9%. Now, this doesn't mean much overall, but it does show that the Fed can move and that the Fed is willing to move. Um, and possibly kick the can further down the road. Um, we've seen that reflected a little bit in the uh, increase in gold spot price um, up to or heading towards 1550 uh, US an ounce. Now, I'd be lying if I said that was the reason it's been driven up. It's one of the reasons. Obviously, um, them threatening to impeach Trump uh, right as he's meant to be um, staring down the barrel with the Chinese over this uh, trade war. Um, I would have thought not a politically wise move for a country, but uh, I'm only Australian, so I don't understand uh, US politics, but uh, it really does seem like kneecapping your, uh, your lead forward as they're going into battle. Um, whether you agree with him or not, this probably wasn't the time to do that, but uh, not that they seek my counsel. So that's okay. And look, let's be honest, that's probably what's the main driver behind the, um, the increase in price that we've seen over the last few days. But like I said, um, it's a good idea to keep an eye on this short-term money market, overnight money market thing with the US um, Fed Reserve pumping that cash in. It gives an indication of how they'll react in the future. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep chasing that and see how it goes for the rest of the month. Other thing I'd like to mention is that um, we seem to be getting a, a little bit of feedback. Uh, people are forgetting that we pay uh, spot price for um, any of the bullion that you wish to sell. So if you've got any ounces of gold or any, any of uh, that sort of stuff, the gold or the silver, um, we do pay spot. So we've had a couple of people coming to the shop just lately saying, oh, I wish I'd known. So we're just starting to advertise that again uh, to people. So um, spread the word. Let people know that uh, we pay spot if you want to get rid of uh, any of your bullion, trade it in at these higher prices. So anyway, that's all for now. And we'll talk again later on in the week. Bye.